Little Penguins, it's me, Jamie Lynn. Welcome back to another squishy makeover video. I am actually going to be fixing your squishies that you sent in to me in my last unboxing video. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. You'll see some familiar faces in this video. This video is all inspired by Roblox. I am obsessed with playing this game and I just really wanted to do something completely inspired by Roblox. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. <laughs> Oh yay! I'm super excited to show you what I'm going to start with today. I have this cute little LOL doll. I actually got this in an unboxing video. <laughs> oh, I love this! Oh, oh, it's got a little rip, but it's okay. We can fix them. We can fix them. It's okay. She's got like a unicorn bow on her head. But when I turn her around, her neck is so broken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, um, I'm having too much fun with that, I think. Eee. Well, yeah, so I basically already told you that we can fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, shall we start? It's super squishy, look at that. I'm having too much fun with this rip, I don't even know. But yeah, it's got a little scratch on her foot there. But you know, we're just going to paint it all. She's got a dirty face as well. This girl needs a wash. But yeah, okay, let's go. Let's start, I'm ready. I'm also going to be painting a little egg squishy. Yay. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> it's got a big chunk missing. I think it's like an egg. So you know in Adopt Me, to get any kind of pets, you do need to get an egg first. So I'm going to be giving this one a makeover too. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at the squishiness of this. Oh my gosh, it's so slow rising. Ooh. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start with the LOL doll first. Now I am going to basically fix her little neck there. I have got pins out to uh, pin her head to her body. Oh, and let's get rid of this little unicorn horn. I don't have a unicorn horn on my Roblox person. Is that a thing? Um, so yeah, let's just tidy up, neaten up the sides there and yay, she's almost ready to paint and she's all dry now. So I'm just going to take the pins out. The reason I prefer to use pins for squishies is because it's just easier than using elastic bands. And to be honest, it's easier to get into those intricate little parts that maybe elastic bands won't hold. So yeah, awesome. Just pulling out the last little pins there. Be careful if you do this at home though. I don't want you pricking yourself with pins. Be careful. Um, so yeah, now that's all dried and we are ready to paint. So I made a little mistake here, to be quite honest with you. I did. Um, I wanted to cover up that little unicorn part that I chopped off earlier and I wanted to go around and pretty much, let me get rid of that hair there, um, and pretty much basically cover up all of the parts that I had cut into or um, around the back of the neck as well. Um, why is this coming out all watery? You know, it's coming out all bubbly. Oh, what has happened to my paint? Um, so yeah, I've just, I'm just using a general slick paint here, tulip slick paint, uh, any random colour, and I'm just putting it in, basically just kind of making sure that it, it, yeah, it covers the cracks and bits like that. So now that I decided I wanted to turn my attention to the hair, now because I have little pigtails in my little um, Roblox person thing, um, I wanted to make sure that I got that into my squishy too. So I am just again using my slick fabric paint and I'm covering up all of the squishy parts that um, have kind of now been exposed due to me cutting into them. Lovely. <laughs> so I've just pinned those pigtails back there just while it all dries and things like that. And I've made a nice little tan color. Um, is, it, is it my color? Is it the same color as me? I hope so because I am actually trying to paint me here um, and I am very pale as a lot of you have probably seen from my previous videos. So I've got the lightest tan colour I could ever make in my entire life. 
because I'm so pale. And I'm just basically trying to cover her body in that tannedness. Lovely. <laughs> and now I'm onto her dress. Now, well, I say her dress, but it's my dress really, because I am trying to recreate me or my Roblox character. So yeah, I'm wearing a black dress and black shoes. Lovely. And I've also got a nice little red bow in my hair. So that's why I kept the bow on the LOL doll because I like to have a nice little red bow and you guys know how much I love red. And now I'm just going around and painting her, the hair. Her hair was a little bit kind of gold um, and I don't think I have gold hair. So yeah, I'm having to paint that brown, gorgeous. And I do have a little bit of a white frill around the top of the dress of my Roblox character. So I needed to get that involved onto my actual squishy as well. So yeah. Now I'm pretty much just doing some touch-ups here to be honest. I'm just going around making sure everything is covered, everything is neat and tidy, perfect. And now we can move on to um, the underneath of the hair because I haven't done that yet. Um, I was just waiting for the, all of the green slick paint to dry first before I painted it brown so I could also pin it back up so it didn't get stuck together or anything like that. So um, yeah, overall. I think I've done all right here so far. <laughs> Let's not speak too soon though. Now I've got some white fabric paint and I'm just going around the bottom of the dress doing some frills. Now there are little frills on my Roblox character dress so I definitely had to get them involved. And once that's all done I am going to move on to the face. Now I've got some cute eyes going on on my Roblox character. Um, I've got long eyelashes and my eyes are closed in that so yeah I think I'm looking so cute and of course a nice little red lip you know me I'm loving my red lipstick and I'm giving myself a little blusher gorgeousness and I was thinking it looked a bit weird and that's because I forgot the eyebrows so um yeah I paint new eyebrows on Gorgeous. And when that's dry, I just turned them over, done the frills on the back too. And here is my finished squishy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the way that this turned out today. So um, yeah, shall we move on to my next squishy makeover? Yay! So now I'm moving on to my egg. It has like some, kind of some drips on there. I'm not really sure what they're about, but it's got a massive crack down the middle and a nice hole in the bottom there. So I've just got my fabric glue back out. And I'm just gluing that together and holding it with elastic bands this time. Lovely. And now when that's all dry, that fabric glue does actually take 24 hours to dry. So when it's all dried, I took those elastic bands off and kind of helped it to get its shape back because this was super, super squishy. But also some of the fabric glue had kind of squeezed out of the sides there. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that I, yeah, um, tidy it up there give it a little sand over and then we can start painting but before I get to painting I am actually going to add a little bit of extra squishy on there I am going to make this into one of the special eggs in Roblox and I'm going to use these two cuties ah so I got these in my unboxing oh, video oh this is gorgeous oh they could be boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> so I'm actually only going to use the girlfriend and I just need her tail. I'm sorry girlfriend but thanks for letting me use your tail. It was coming off anyway so um, see you later guys. <laughs> Thank you for your tail. Um, yeah and I'm just basically going to find out the best way to put these on, neaten them up a bit before I stick them on. If you're a Roblox fan you could probably guess what I'm up to um, with this. So I am trying to actually create a dino egg. What? Crazy, I know. Um, so basically, these are little bits of squishy that I took off <laughs> of a squid in my Christmas squishy makeover. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you do go check it out. But I'm using the little bottom of the squid for the dino egg and the tail at the bottom. Gorgeous. So I've just got some fabric glue. And as before, I'm just pinning it down with pins making sure I keep my hands nice and safe and I'm using some slick paint just to kind of fill that hole in as well. You can use puffy paint here but I just had a slick paint that would have worked just fine. 
I'm also just going around the cracks there too. And it's all dry, yay! So we get to take the pins out. And oh, it's actually looking so cute. I can't wait to get this painted. I'm just going back around with my um, slick fabric paint there, just to cover up all of the kind of the squishy parts that are not covered in paint yet. Just to make sure that, you know, the paint doesn't really seep into the squishy. The squishy would eat the paint. So yeah, I'm putting a nice thick layer on there and I can start painting, yay! So I've got a nice dark green colour because dino eggs are this kind of colour, lovely. And I'm just going around as much as I can, filling in all of that greenness, gorgeous. And now that's all dry, I can actually start on the little humpy things. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, those bits of the dinosaur egg. So yeah, they're brown. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Oh dear, but yeah, I'm just touching up those parts, making sure they're all covered, etc, etc. Stop, wait right there. I need you to go and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you get to see every time I post a video that's normally on Fridays at 6 p.m. GMT and also on Tuesdays. Thank you so much, guys. And if you like this video for, so far, give it a thumbs up. Let's carry on, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. So now I've got the same tan color that I used before just to kind of tie these both together and um, I'm using the same colour paint which is pretty cool but it is also you know the dino egg so yeah I'm just going around <laughs> need to mix some more there because I used it all Ooh. Um, yeah I'm just going around the front of the egg making that little shape you guys will probably know this if you um, play Roblox regularly which I am guessing that you probably do yay so um this is the first coat of the tan paint and it's gone really patchy so I'm definitely going to have to do another coat of this. <laughs> Lovely and now I'm just going to do some last little touch ups there um, on the green just to make sure that they are all smooth and I'm actually going to do another coat of the brown. And I wanted this brown to kind of tie in with my hair colour as well. And we've got these little dino egg spots on the front there as well. And here is my squishy all finished. Oh my gosh, I'm super happy with the way that this turned out today. It looks exactly like the dino egg. And I'm actually really happy with this. Oh my gosh, this is fully Roblox inspired. I love it. Gorgeousness. Let's move on to my last squishy makeover of today. Now, this is super special to me because this squishy makeover is definitely to do with the farm shop update that Roblox has just given us. Yes, yeah, so we've got these two little squishies here and I actually used this little mushroom part in a previous video um, to fix a strawberry. So we've just got his head there and um, he's got a really wonky face as well. But he's got cute little ears and stuff and oh, what? What is that on his back? Oh, there's a big green thing as well. Like, what is that? Nasty. But yeah, and then we've also got this little squishy here. That's a really plain one. It's got a flat back as well. But once I combine these two squishies together, it is going to be perfect for my little Roblox inspired squishy, which is also to do with the new farm shop update, which is just awesome. So I'm taking out that little um, keychain bit there. I always struggle with these and now it's got a nice little hole in his top <laughs> Wee. okay um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go around and neaten them up a little bit lovely now just to let you know you should be sanding down the squishies before i did kind of did i just drop my scissors oh my goodness be careful jamie with those scissors oh my goodness i dropped them again oh my goodness what is going on oh be careful jamie please they are sharp things. Ooh. So yeah, you should be sanding down your squishies before um, you paint them, just to let you know. So most of these squishies that I had here um, were white squishies and they're kind of already ready to be painted. But if you're in doubt, always sand down your squishies before. 
yeah and now i'm just pinning those two together yay and i'm it's got oh it's got a hole and it's in an inappropriate place it's it's got a little butthole oh nasty <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just made him a little butthole. That is so gross. But anyway, I am filling those with my slick paint as I've done with the past two squishies. Um, yeah, just evening out all of those edges there. Awesome! So now I'm going to start painting the squishy. Of course, red is my favourite colour, but this, um, yeah, really needed to be just the best red colour ever. And now I'm going to go around with the black too. It's got a black bottom and I hope that you will understand what I'm doing at this point. I'm actually painting a ladybird. So Roblox had a new update really, really recently. And it was the farm shop update and they came out with new ladybirds. How cute is that? So I got one straight away and I really wanted to do a ladybird squishy makeover anyway. I had that vision in my head for a long time, um, but I didn't really know how to go about it, you know. Um, I do love ladybirds, they are so cute, but this was the perfect opportunity to get some squishies together and paint a ladybird. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I'm, again I'm using the same tan colour that I have done for the past two squishies just to kind of tie them all in together. And now I'm going to paint the little spots on his back, yay! And also, um, I liked the little ears of this little mushroom cat thing because they were going to make perfect little wings for my ladybird. Now, when ladybirds fly, they actually have like, the red back is like a cover for their wings and their wings come out underneath. And they're a little bit kind of see-through bluey, so that's the kind of vibe I was going for there. And now I've just got to paint the cutest little eyes ever for my little ladybird. And here he is all finished! Ah, oh, he's got some eye shinies. Oh my goodness my little squishy and i am gonna call you ruby oh my ruby red ladybird oh that is so cute that is such a cute name ruby red ladybird oh what a perfect little name his butthole is all covered up now too <laughs> oh and here are my finished squishies all together oh my gosh i'm super happy with the way that these turned out today i absolutely love roblox playing it is just amazing if you see me playing on there make sure you say hi um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my squishy makeover. It was a bit of a long one, but I managed to get three in there. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <sighs> and there's all my finished Roblox squishies. I've got my dino egg, myself, and my little ladybird. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this one. Also check out my previous videos, I've done more squishy makeovers, I've mixed and made slime, I've done thrift store makeovers and I've done some arts and crafts that you guys can do at home. Thank you so much for watching penguins, bye my little penguins.